Today we are at Lassen Volcanic National Park. It's, it's gonna be a big day. Courtney and I tried to visit this park a few months ago, but it was closed because the day before we came to visit, the Dixie Fire entered the park's boundaries. It's reopened. It's also winter, so we can't drive through it, but we can at least visit and see what it looks like. Today actually started about an hour ago while I was driving into the park. I'll send you back to that and meet you here in a minute. My name's Laura and I'm headed to every national park in the continental U.S and exploring everything else along the way. Subscribe to join me on this unforgettable road trip, which today brings us to Northern California. This was the scene from earlier in the summer. Courtney and I were driving south from Oregon and planning to stay near Mount Shasta and go to Lassen Volcanic National Park the next day. As we got closer, we saw this wildfire raging. And that's when we heard that Lassen Volcanic was actually closing due to a separate fire. It was heartbreaking to watch these fires burn, not knowing what would be there when I came back. Fast forward a few months, and this is what I found. Could you imagine that mountain on fire over top of your house? And somehow the firefighter saved it. trail crosses the road obviously if you've been here for a while you know I'm obsessed with all of the long trails in the country you can't even see the trail through the burn area it's crazy and usually burn areas are closed for at least two years so it'll be a while before people are hiking through this section again but it's just crazy to see what it looks like they're trying to clean everything up and clear out some of the trees that they can and it's just completely gone. The hills just burned to a crisp. Crazy. Even just being here at the sign feels crazy. To have the scorched trees over here and have them be green over there, it's amazing what the firefighters were able to do and that they were able to stop the fire from going everywhere. <sighs> being from the Midwest, it's just such a foreign thing to see and I just can't imagine being here and having your house here and having to try and figure out what to do and just how much worry that would be. Uh, even the reflectors on the sign are melted. It'll be interesting to see the National Park after the fire this summer. We're gonna stop at the visitor center, see what we can do. On top of that, it's winter. They've already had snow here. You can see piles where they've plowed the roads. Uh, there's just a little bit left right where I'm at. It's almost 60 degrees today, so no fear of snow. Just seeing it open up to where you have mountains that have just been burned is unbelievable. Okay, let's head in.
Okay, I was able to talk to the ranger inside. This road is closed in the winter. She said that there's a lot of trails that you can hike, but recommended that I just walk up the road a mile to see the thermal features. It's amazing how close the fire got to the visitor center. While we're walking, some fun facts about Lassen Volcanic National Park. It's actually part of the Ring of Fire. So the edge of that Pacific Crest Plate, Mount St. Helens is also on this side of the Ring of Fire and Mount Fuji. These, this is all information from the visitor center. There are four types of volcanoes in the world, a cinder cone, shield cone, composite cone, and plug dome. Lassen actually has one of each volcano. And the reason it's a national park is that in 1915, Lassen Peak started to erupt. It had plumes of steam that melted the peak and caused all of the snow to run down the mountain. It was originally a national monument, and because of the eruption, they increased it to a national park in 1916, making it the 13th national park. California also has the most national parks with nine, which is crazy. Alaska is second with eight. But here in California, we have Lassen Volcanic, the Redwoods, Pinnacles, Channel Islands, Sequoia, Kings Canyon, Death Valley, and Joshua Tree. And Yosemite. Let's not forget Yosemite, we're headed there next. That entire mountain over there is burned. Every tree. I feel like you don't notice right away because it's winter. That's crazy. This is specifically called Sulfur Works, so I'm guessing it's going to smell so good. <laughs> Well, the name is accurate. <laughs> wow, right next to the road. Literally right there. Oh, that does not smell <laughs> Okay, I'm surrounded by four volcanoes, listed as active because they just erupted a hundred years ago and the ground is just boiling up right here. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. There's no water here, but you can hear the ground. It's just amazing you have the river from the snow runoff mixing with the water from these pools. That's five feet from the road. That's crazy.
Let me know in the comments if it's not true, but this is the only place in North America that you can see geysers and thermal features outside of Yellowstone. Just walking in a little snow while I can. The ranger said that here they get so much snow that those windows in the visitor center are sometimes completely covered. She said they can't even see out. I love it. I also made the mistake of mentioning that maybe they should close in the winter because they don't get people. And she said <laughs> people love it in the winter for like skiing and snowshoeing and all that stuff. So made that mistake. If you're here in the winter, come try some winter sports. Don't insult the rangers who live here. Don't do it. the little trees how beautiful is that can't think of anything better than to see that here at Lassen after looking at the wildfires for the past few hours it's beautiful that's it for us here being that it's winter there's not nearly as much to do but i'm so happy that i finally got to see it and to see that it's still going strong even after this summer i realized it was a short visit but that just means when you come you need to stay longer if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and click that button i am headed to every national park and it just feels so good to see how many of you are following along with me Hopefully you're enjoying the trip as much as me. I am getting ready to head to Yosemite where I will be finally camping within the National Park. I'll see you there.